How being an English teacher helped me as an English learner. I always thought learning English was going to be easy. I mean, I had seen English movies, read English books, and even practiced in front of the mirror. But one day, everything changed, and not in the way I expected. It all started on a Monday morning, when I received the most shocking letter of my life. My school principal called me into his office. He was always a bit serious, but today, he had a strange smile on his face. I sat down nervously. What's happening? I wondered. He handed me a piece of paper. Congratulations, he said. You are now going to be our new English teacher. I almost dropped the paper. Teacher? Me? How could I teach English when I was still learning it myself? My heart pounded. My hands felt cold. I could barely speak. But, sir, I said, I'm still learning. How can I teach? The principal smiled again. That's exactly why you're perfect for this. You'll understand the students better because you know what it's like to be in their shoes. And just like that, I was an English teacher. I had no choice. The class was waiting, and I had to face them the very next day. The Big Twist The next morning I walked into the classroom with a shaky smile, holding a book full of grammar rules. The students stared at me. Some smiled, others whispered to each other. I felt a knot in my stomach. What if they laugh at my mistakes? I thought. I took a deep breath and said, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, miss. They all shouted back in excitement. They were so young, so innocent. Suddenly I realized something. I was as much a student as they were. I might be their teacher, but I was learning too. As I began to teach them basic English, Something unexpected happened. Every time I explained a lesson, I started understanding it better myself. When I taught them about verbs and adjectives, I felt like I was learning it all over again. The more I taught, the more I learned. It was a funny feeling, like we were all students in the room. During one of the lessons, a little girl named Lucy raised her hand. Miss, why is English so hard sometimes? I paused. Good question. I asked myself the same thing every day. So I said, Well, Lucy, it's hard because there's always something new to learn. But guess what? That's also what makes it fun. Lucy smiled. And I realized something else that day. Teaching was making me a better learner. The more questions my students asked, the more I had to think, and the better I became at English. A Mysterious Moment Weeks passed, and I started feeling more confident. But then, one day, something weird happened. I was writing on the board explaining a difficult lesson about sentence structure when suddenly, a boy named Tom raised his hand. Miss, he said in a low voice, I have a question. Go ahead, Tom, I replied, turning around to face him. Tom hesitated, looking nervous. How did you learn English so well? I froze. I hadn't expected that question. And then out of nowhere, I blurted out the truth. By teaching it. The whole class looked at me in surprise. I could feel their eyes on me. Tom stared with wide eyes. Really? Yes, I said. Every time I teach you, I learn something new, too. Being your teacher has made me a better English learner. For a second, the room was silent. Then, one student started clapping. Soon, the whole class was cheering. I smiled feeling proud but also a little shy. Who knew teaching would help me become so much better at English? A big surprise.
One day a strange letter arrived in the mail. It had no return address and it was written in perfect English. My heart raced as I opened it. Inside there was just one sentence. Come to the library at 8 p.m. tonight. Don't tell anyone. I gulped. What could this mean? Should I go? The library at night? That sounded scary. But my curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to go. At 8 p.m. sharp, I stepped into the dark library. The air was cold, and the only light came from a flickering lamp. I walked deeper inside, my footsteps echoing in the silence. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. Hello, teacher. I turned around to see Tom. He stood there, holding a thick English book. Tom, what are you doing here? I asked, my voice shaking. I've been watching you, miss, he said mysteriously. I know your secret. My secret? My heart pounded. What was going on? Yes, Tom said, stepping closer. You were never really a teacher, were you? You were learning all along. I gasped. How did he know? But before I could speak, Tom smiled. That's why you're the best teacher, he said. Because you understand us. You're learning with us. I couldn't believe it. All this time I was worried about not being a perfect teacher. But Tom saw the truth. Learning and teaching go hand in hand. The Big Reveal The next day, something amazing happened. The principal called me to his office again. This time his smile was even wider. Congratulations, he said, handing me another letter. You've been chosen as the best teacher of the year. I was speechless. How could this be? I wasn't perfect. I made mistakes. But then I remembered what Tom said. Maybe that was the point. I was learning with my students, and that made me a better teacher. Moral of the story At the end of the day, I learned something important. You don't have to be perfect to teach. In fact, teaching can make you a better learner. We all learn from each other. Sometimes the best teachers are the ones who are still learning themselves. And that, my dear students, is how being an English teacher helped me as an English learner. The End Moral Teaching can help you learn even better. When you share your knowledge with others, you grow stronger in it yourself. Always be open to learning no matter your role.